Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna tackle these steps that are straight out of the 1970s with this carpet runner and see if I can update them for little to no money. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull up this old carpet runner. It's glued in at the top here and then the rest of it's just nailed in. I was shocked to see how dirty this thing was when I pulled up underneath it. The years of dust and dirt and dog hair underneath this thing were truly disgusting. Okay, so here's a different angle of this. You can see all the glue on that top riser that I'm gonna have to deal with later on. And then on each stair tread is a uh, pad carpet pad on each stair tread along with a tack strip the carpet pad comes up pretty easy you can see there are some pieces left behind that's going to be where the staples are and then the tack strip you just do your best with a pry bar sometimes you got to pull out the hammer but try and get it up in larger pieces that's always easier than just coming through and demoing it into a bunch of small pieces and then trying to clean it up i always try and take these out in larger pieces Overall, I gotta be honest, I was pretty impressed by how the stair tread itself looked. The stain was still in pretty good condition. It wasn't tore up or scratched up um, at all. And I'm just gonna work slowly to pull up all the nails and all the staples used in the stair or on the stair tread to hold this carpet runner down. Okay, so after working on all these staples and all these nails, I got them all out of the stair tread and you can see just the amount of dirt and dust that was hiding underneath this thing. It's pretty disgusting. But overall, once we clean this up, this tread's in pretty good shape. So it's not gonna be too much work to save this and make it look nice again. Okay, moving on down the steps. Again, we have some staples here that were used to keep the carpet pad on. I'm just using some pliers to pull these off. We'll have to go back and repaint this, but again, um, I'm pretty impressed by how well the paint has held up. Um, I'm basically just gonna have to be patching holes and then restaining and repainting small areas. Pulling off another tack strip here. And again, the name of the game is try to get them all off in one piece. It makes it a lot easier for you so you're not picking up little pieces of tack strip. So here's the progress after a couple steps. Again, very happy with the way the paint looks and the stain looks underneath the carpet runner. I am gonna to have to deal with all of this glue uh, residue on this top step. We'll get to that later.
after repeating this process for every step, I'm super impressed. It went from this nasty carpet runner to a much more modern look with the clean stain and the white paint that matches our flooring. Next step is every nail hole you have, you need to fill with wood putty and then come through with a piece of sandpaper and hand sand down all of these places that you have filled with wood putty to get ready for finishing. For the glue residue at the top, I'm gonna to use my orbital sander to knock this all off so I have a clean, fresh start. For small stain touch-ups like this one, I recommend buying one of these stain markers. It's just a lot more efficient and you can color match them. Um, they have a number of different colors at your local hardware store. And this is the one that I picked to match these stairs. Now that my stair treads are looking good, it's time for some paint. And I figured if I'm going to paint the risers white, I might as well paint these spindles white as well. I'm taping them off really good. I'm going to come through with some primer and then some paint on these spindles. But before I prime, I'm going to sand these spindles down a little bit just to roughen up the previous stain, which will allow the primer to grab on and to attach itself much more efficiently to these spindles. Then I'm going to come through with some primer on these spindles and on the stair risers. I'm going to do two coats of primer and two coats of white paint. I'm not going to bore you guys with the whole process. You all know how to use a paintbrush, I hope. The most important thing is just don't glop it on these spindles because it will start to drip down and leave drops running down these spindles when they dry. So put it on thin and just do multiple coats. And then that's not what you want to hear, but that's the proper way to do it. After many hours of priming and painting these stairs, this is the finished product. I love the way this looks. For me, there's no reason to ever cover up hardwood with carpet, even on steps. I think this gives us a cleaner and more modern look on our staircase. If you enjoyed this video and the transformation, hit that like button and I always appreciate people subscribing to my channel.